So what is actually wrong with this valve up here? I suspect that it's missing the spacer, which means that valve body or that turn wheel is all the way up against the valve body itself. And then I'm gonna say that either the spring that's inside here is either damaged or it's the wrong size spring. So let's go ahead and take this one off and see if that's the case. What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Hickory Scuba Marina. If you are new to our channel, do me a huge favor. Hit this little subscribe button right here and ding that little bell as well. That way you guys are gonna be notified every time we upload new content. Now I got a cylinder here, it just came back from Hydro from a, for a customer and when he brought it to us, he had a complaint that his valve knob was super wobbly. And as you can see, I can just kind of wobble it back and forth. And I don't know if the camera will show you up in there. I'll try to turn a light on for you. But you see that little post that's in there and there's, there's like a slotted nut that's up in there. Well, I'm gonna show you what causes these to be very, very wobbly. And I'm gonna actually show you how you can make things worse by tightening the nut, when in reality, you should be loosening the nut to actually tighten this knob up. So with that being said, let's jump over here on the bench. I'm gonna show you how these valves work, and then I'm gonna show you how we're gonna fix this customer's valve. All right, guys, so I got a, a spare valve here, and we're just gonna go over the nomenclature really quick. Of course, we got the post itself, we've got the threads, we've got the dip tube. Uh, this is our turn wheel here, and inside here is a shaft, and that shaft is this center part that you're gonna see coming up through this nut right here. And this is a slotted nut. It just takes a slotted flathead screwdriver to get it loose. But what we're gonna focus on inside, there should be a spacer ring, a little plastic O-ring, if you will, and then you're gonna have the housing body of the turn wheel then you'll have your post you're gonna have a spring and then you'll have your slotted nut here and as I take these off you'll see it is very simple to do once we get the tension off from the spring we can just simply slot it off there is our spring and our slotted nut of course here is our turn wheel itself and then of course on the valve body itself you will see this is the little spacer that we was talking about it's basically just an anti-friction ring what that does is set up against that metal that's inside the turn wheel so that you don't have metal to metal connection creating corrosion there so it's just a little spacer o-ring there and then here is our valve post here which this can be easily damaged if you're not careful say during an inspection process so what is actually wrong with this valve up here i suspect that it's missing the spacer, which means that valve body or that turn wheel is all the way up against the valve body itself. And then I'm gonna say that either the spring that's inside here is either damaged or it's the wrong size spring. So let's go ahead and take this one off and see if that's the case. And if you also notice, get a light in here for you. If you also notice that center post, see it kind of protruding out and that's kind of an indicator that someone's actually tampered with this. And I'll show you really briefly what I'm talking about here. If I get this one screwed back on, when it's at the right tension with the right spring, you want that post, that center post there, to be absolutely flush with the nut itself. You don't want to have to screw it all the way in to where it's protruding out like that. So a little indicator to let me know that either the spring is broken that sets up in here or that it's the wrong spring not giving enough tension is the fact that they've got it screwed all the way down and yet it is still wobbly. So you can look up in there and see that that nut is screwed all the way down yet I could very easily wobble it. So let's take it off and let's see exactly what is going on here. So I'm just gonna unscrew it here. Remember there is a spring behind it, so I don't want that tension to go flying everywhere. And there we broke free. And as I can tell there, there's absolutely no spacer. So this is the spacer, it slides up in there. And if we look inside the turn wheel here, I'm gonna go ahead and pour it out. And I'll notice it does have a spring but if we compare it to the other one, we will see it's the wrong size spring. Okay, so that's gonna cause a lot of wobble because first of all, this is sliding too far back on there. We don't have that spacer, which can cause some corrosion inside the turn wheel. And then we also have the issue that the spring's not giving it the right amount of tension. So I don't know if this one's been cut and broke or if it came out of a different valve and was installed in this one, but we're gonna go ahead and get this fixed up here. So the first thing we're going to do is place our little spacer there. It's a little kind of an anti-friction ring. 
We're going to make sure that we get the right size spring. And a lot of people make the mistake of putting the spring on first. You actually put the spring on after you put your turn wheel on. So I'm going to get the turn wheel on. And if you look closely inside, you'll notice that it's kind of a square shape. And this post is also a square shape on the back side. So you're just going to stick it on, turn it till it kind of locks into position. And then we're going to slide our spring in place. We are going to take our slotted nut here. We're just going to give it a little bit of tension to get it started. And once we get it started, we are going to continue to screw it down. And we're going to go just until it's flush with the outside edge of that nut there. Screw it in. You can always test it with your finger. It needs to get a little bit tighter. Just about another turn or two. We should be there. Just like that. So now we are perfectly flush with the post inside. And as you can see, I'm trying to get, it's got a little bit more just to tighten it down just a pinch. And now, as you can see, I can wobble on it back and forth and it doesn't move whatsoever. So it's a very, very simple fix. This is something that you can do if you've got some spare valves just laying around because we all know that we change valves every now and then. In this case, this customer went from a standard valve to say a side mount bottle valve you're always going to have spare parts and don't throw these old valves away you can reuse the dip tubes you can reuse several of the parts that's in it as well if you need to but if you ever have a spring that is the wrong size or one that is broken you're going to lose the tension of that turn wheel and your turn wheel will be wobbly as that occurs it can undo that slotted screw and you can lose your turn wheel when you're underwater but guys that's going to do it for today's video if you like this video give me a big thumbs up definitely share if you got any questions drop me a comment down below and i'll try to help you out the best i can that's going to do it for today guys take care god bless and i'll see you in the next video